I'm uh, Paul, I'm the director of uh, industry and alumni relations for Hotel School de Hague and uh, also uh, organizing the Sustainable Hospitality Challenge. What a fun, wonderful, wonderful uh, sounding project. Tell us more about it. Uh, it is indeed a very fun project. It's, uh, it's a project whereby we try to make impact uh, by means of total collaboration and a great student experience. We have uh, more than 50 uh, hotel schools around the world as well as tech design and engineering universities that participate. And we go through a series of events, a uh, series of events where uh, we have jury members, um, whereby the teams of students have to come up with innovative solutions that uh, impact our society, impact our industry. And what brings you to WTTC Global Summit here in Rwanda? Um, well, first of all, I think it's fantastic that they do this in Africa and in, in Rwanda. Uh, it's a very, very bold and very good statement. Um, and we partner with WTTC. They understand and recognize how important it is to work with the young generation and to come up with, uh, with innovative solutions to make an impact for all of us. And what's been the feedback you've got so far? <laughs> It's been uh, uh, amazing, but of course it's not about me, it's about the team who's standing right next to me, uh, who, who won this challenge a month ago in, in Abu Dhabi. And for them it's of course, uh, it's a dream come true, honestly. Yeah, and a lot of people are jumping on the concept or jumping on them, want to talk to them and knowing what it's about, what's the concept about, and you know, it's exciting. Tell us about the, the, the concept. So the concept is, uh, is really cool because the, the case was one with nature, but to the extent whereby we were not looking for solutions or concepts that just look cool in nature, it had to go much deeper than that. So it, had, it should have an educational component whereby there's a change in lifestyle. So what they came up with is an on-water experience. It's a, a vessels, luxury suites as part of a resort whereby where the, when the vessels are boating, it immediately also cleans microplastics in the ocean by means of a very smart technology. The microplastics collected will then go to a local uh, recycling company and they produce products out of that. So it's a luxury experience and yet it's regenerating nature. Very much like an oyster, uh, because an oyster does the same thing. I love it, it's completely kind of, uh, kind of circular. Yes, very much so. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about sort of um, what you're hoping to get out of this, this being here right now. Um, what I'm hoping to get out is uh, awareness, visibility, uh, the fact that we need to think outside our own industry to come up with good solutions. Um, one of the things that I often say is if we can change four tires on a Formula One car in 2.3 seconds, then there's a lot of innovation that we can still learn from. So we need to look at other industries, we need to look at other uh, disciplines such as tech, design, engineering, architecture and, and work together to come to amazing solutions. And tell me a little bit about sort of what you think that the next generation of talent can bring to this industry. Um, very much out of the box thinking. Yeah. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, a, a solution can be so small and so simple but can be quite impactful. If I, if I still see um, in the most expensive hotels in the world slippers wrapped in plastic, I think can that not be solved, you know, that can be easily resolved. So, and this, this young generation, honestly, they're, they're not in it to, uh, to, learn, to learn here and to, uh, to, to go the same path. They're, they're, they're much more demanding in that respect. And what are the other kind of skills that you think the next generation of talent need to bring to ensure that we've got a sustainable world? Ooh, um, well, it's, it's, they should not lose their drive and their passion because that to me is the most important because that will drive the change. They may not have all the answers to it yet and some things may take a little bit longer than what we all expect because there's, our industry is quite complex when it comes to management companies, ownership companies, um, but with the right mindset and not letting go, um, we should be able to, to go into that direction. It's very much like Julia Simpson also said, we're very close to solutions also when it comes to aviation. Um, so it's that kind of stuff. Excellent. And if someone is watching this, how do they find out more? They can go to our website, studentchallenge.com, or contact me directly, of course, and uh, we'll take it from there. We well, have a lot of partners, and uh, we have the entire industry backing us up, so come and join us. It's all about collaboration. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.